One of my least favorite days of the week is laundry day. Before I got Klaus, I used to put all my dirty laundry in my laundry bag, put my laundry bag in my three-day ruck. I'd hop on the train using my nine-euro ticket, and I would go down to a city called Karlsruhe, which is roughly a 40-ish minute or so train ride because of all the stops. It's really not that far. And then I got Klaus, and I made the trip in Klaus. And um, this was early on, first getting Klaus, and still not too used to or keen on driving in the tight traffic that is typical of Germany. Um, made it, nearly hit pedestrians and um, people on bikes and all this sort of thing, you know, because people pop out all of a sudden and thank goodness Klaus is brand new and has got great brakes and ability to accelerate. Then, after all that nerve-wracking stuff, finding parking was not easy. Klaus is not a compact van. It's not. Uh, not the longest in this model, but certainly not the smallest. And um, that would cause me to spend a lot of time finding parking and then hiking from wherever I parked to the laundromat to do laundry and then rinse and repeat. I did that three times. Um, fortunately, Karlsruhe has, I think, three or four different laundromats. So I didn't always have to go to the same one. And a lot of times there were parking at, there was parking at, um, or better parking at other ones instead of the one I was typically going to. Then one day I remembered um, that I had downloaded the Park for Night app before I left the United States. And I had not opened it up. And in there, there's all kinds of information about, you know, where you can spend the night or where you can get water, where you can do laundry, et cetera, et cetera. So I found it. I found a place that is not too far away from work, that is quiet, that I've seen all over the um, YouTube channels that I follow. And it's just a small outdoor washing machine. It's actually two washers and um, a large dryer. I get to park right next to it, and um, yeah, it's incredibly convenient. So I'm going to get changed, I'm going to get things ready to go, because I'm also washing bedding today, and I will show you what that looks like. Alright, let's go check this place out. There it is, my laundromat for today. Now, I'm going to tell you, that and that surprised the hell out of me. I have not seen so much garbage piled up anywhere the entire time I've been in Germany. But this, whatever. But here we have a Tolkien dryer, big washer, little washer, and here's where you pay for it, right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's Klaus. That's my house. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with the details um, of how to put clothes in a washer and how to put money in the automat. I'm just going to go, I've got a lot of laundry, including my bedding. I'm going to go put it in the big wash, get it done, get some dinner in me, and then, uh, I don't know, call it a day or something. I don't know if I'm going to park up here or what. But the cool thing about this video is that you now get to see what it's like to wash clothes on the road. All right, if you didn't already know. Uh, oddly enough, uh, in the town that I work in, there's no public washing facility, no public washrooms. washrooms. There's no public laundromat. Um, and there doesn't appear to be anywhere in the vicinity, which is why I had to go south to do my laundry. Um, no more of those trips because I'm here in suburbia um, at this outdoor washing machine. Just take one more look at it right there. Look at that. That's it right there. There's a like an Italian restaurant right there. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna go eat there. But uh, yeah, that is the laundromat. Outdoors and everything. Also, one of the cool things is is that um, 
it will, if you want it to, send you a text message five-ish minutes before your laundry's done. Cool, right? <laughs> right. Went through class to be sure I got everything in there. That's the rest of it. Believe me, there's lots of room in here. I probably could have fit all of that into that, but I'd rather just take the chance of moving the bigger and turns out more expensive one. So, here's the Altamont. Um, we'll touch it to start. We want to wash. I got the big guy. It's an oil. Josh Brewer, yes. Which is the island? No, because I'm sitting right here. So this is asking, do I want a, um, a notice or like a text message um, when the wash is finished? So I'm going to say no. And then I'm paying with cash, 12 euros. It's weird because I thought it said 10, but it's definitely going off of the weight as well. So, there we go. So you push it in, and we are good to go. We see I'm not equipping nine. I don't need a receipt. Okay, if you're done, put the cans in the machine. Swallow, then it begins. The French does I close all token. All right, so here we're going to select our um, cycle. It's 15. I'm going to go with the 60. Centigrade. That's what I usually go with anyway. And I'm gonna press the start button. And that's it. It's clicking and stuff. This thing's kind of neat because it goes like moves around and stuff. And here it is, my laundry. And then uh, afterwards, I'll put it right there. Little things like this actually make my day. Now, honestly, one of the things about this that I don't like, apart from the mess around here, is the fact that there's not a table for me to put my laundry on. But, you know, I've got my bed and I can fold my clothes there, so, you know, big deal. But it is time to eat. It is Chicken Truck Friday, which means that I stopped at the chicken truck and I got myself some chicken, so I'm not actually cooking and make a salad, and that's it. I'm not going to have you watch me eat my food, but you can get yourself a load of this, which will eventually go away. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. But, 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 what are you eating? I know you're dying to see what I'm eating. How this Hähnchen und Salat mit Tomaten. Half a chicken, rotisserie chicken, I might add, from the chicken truck. That's what it's called. That's what I've called it. And some salad. That's it. And if you're eating, I wish you a good appetite. See you next time.